Rebirth, Negredo, and the Dark Knight of the Soul. Rebirth occurs round about midnight on the spiritual path. Alchemically, it is called Negredo, in a sequence that goes from black, Negredo, to white, Albedo, and finally to red, Rubedo. We have three videos in the playlist that expand on the symbolism. The Dark Light of the Soul of Robbins and Rebirth, see the video, where Robbins as a symbol of rebirth are explored. A symbolism of the Falcon, Horus and the story of Osiris. The story of Osiris is an allegory of a rebirth experience. The symbolism of flames, fire and purgatory. Rebirth is the only type of experience that occurs within purgatory, one of the three degrees. But we have very few current examples of rebirth experiences. Partly because the initiation of young boys in order to bring them into manhood is no longer part of most cultures. And partly because even though the wars of recent times have produced rebirth experiences, few recognise them as such. Max Ernst, the painter, for example, appears to have been through a rebirth experience, caused by his involvement in the 1914-18 war, but it traumatised him so much he was unable to talk about it. So, what is rebirth? Description and definition The rebirth experience is a sort of waking software functional update of our mind. If we continue with this analogy, it is not a bug fix, it is the implementation of a new version of the software, which is you. Which, if you see what happens to your computer, usually involves a shutdown and a restart. And that is what happens during a rebirth. That is exactly how it feels. A shutdown, a sort of death, and a restart. During the experience, analogously, you experience deletions and additions of code. It is frightening because you are not in control. And it doesn't always work. But afterwards, with luck, the restart is a new you functionally. You're really not sure you are the same person. Often, you are not. True rebirth experiences occur spiritually in a trance condition, but they can seem extraordinarily real. One can feel pain or one can lose all sensation and lose the body. When depicted in art, whether paintings, drawings or murals and frescoes, rebirth can appear gruesome and violent. But the depictions are allegorical. The person doesn't literally die and then get resurrected, doesn't literally get dismembered or eaten by giant birds, doesn't literally get boiled in a cauldron. These are just a means of describing just how awful it feels. They were a typical shamanic experience once, I'm part of a boy's initiation into manhood. 
navigatingallaboutheaven.org to obtain more details on rebirth experiences. Our website, allaboutheaven.org, can be used to obtain both a more detailed explanation of rebirth and a number of observations, examples of people who have had a rebirth experience. Go to the homepage and click on Observations. Click on Types. Now click on Rebirth. And you are presented with an explanation. If you scroll down, at the bottom, you will find a number of observations, examples, in alphabetic order. Select the one you require, click on it, and the full description will appear. Initiation A glance at the observations will show that in many traditional cultures, initiation was a key part of every adolescent boy's path to manhood. And rebirth was a fundamental part of this process. Australian Aborigines, we have nearly 20 observations recorded by Professor A. P. Alkin who studied the ceremonies and rites of Australian Aborigines. Siberian Shamanism There are over 20 observations collected by Professor Mercia Eliard, the Romanian historian of religion and philosophy. Native American Indian Professor David Lewis Williams, Richard Erdos, and Frank Waters, plus others, have documented Native American Indian experiences in vision pits. African Tribal A number of professors and doctors, for example, B.J.F. Labshire, David Wilson, known by his tribal name Awa, Falukun Fatunbi by the Yoruba, Professor Griol, who studied Ogo Tameli, a blind wise man from the Dogon, plus many others have given detailed accounts of initiation ceremonies. South American Shamanism Professor Marlena Dobkin de Rios' fieldwork in the Amazon for almost 30 years, rounds off the observations, showing the practice of initiation to be worldwide. We also have extracts from Edouard Chouret's book, The Great Initiates, in which he states that all the greatest mystic masters and healers went through initiation. For example, Pythagoras and the Delphic Mysteries, Plato and the Eleusinian Mysteries, Rama and Krishna and the Aryan and Brahmanic Initiation Mysteries, Hermes, Tramagistus and Moses and the Egyptian Mysteries, Orpheus and the Dionysian Mysteries, Jesus and the Essene Mysteries. The observations show how much has been lost. Even early Christian communities employed a different view of baptism to those used today. Persephone Fidish, the mystic cosmos. 
For example, in early Christian communities, during baptizing, the initiated person was put into water and kept there until he or she stopped moving. And that was clinical death. Then the person was brought back to life and given a new name as a newborn person, liberated from the burden of the past, whose state had a new quality, was transformed. A summary of the types of rebirth. Our website, allaboutheaven.org, provides a definition of each of the types of rebirth experience. And for each type, there are observations describing what happened. In this video, we have provided pictures from temple and church walls and extracts from a Burmese book of stories and legends to illustrate each type of rebirth experience being beheaded, being consumed, being boiled in a cauldron, being crushed. Dismemberment Pierced with knives and swords Crucifixion as a rebirth experience Being flayed being consumed by wild animals. Edward Dowden The Initiation Under the flaming wings of cherubim I moved toward that high altar. Oh, the hour! And the light waxed intenser And the dim, low edges of the hills And the grey sea were caught and captured by the present power, my sureties and my witnesses to be. Then the light drew me in, ah, perfect pain, ah, infinite moment of accomplishment, thou terror of pure joy, with neither wane nor waxing, but long silence and sharp air as womb-forsaking babes breathe, hush, the event let him who wrought love's marvellous things declare. Shall I, who feared not joy, for grief at all, I, on whose mouth life laid his sudden lips, tremble at death's weak kiss, and not recall that, sundering from the flesh, the flight from time, the judgment stern, the clear apocalypse, the lightnings, and the presences sublime. How came I back to earth? I know not how, nor what hands led me, nor what words were said. Now all things are made mine, joy, sorrow, now I know my purpose deep, and can refrain I walk among the living, not the dead. My sight is purged, I love and pity men.